beloved in Christ, there is a storm coming over the horizon where Christians, born-again believers, those who truly is trusting the Lord and very authentic in their relationship with the Lord will be tested gravely and not necessarily from the world but from within which is that that calls itself Christians and beloved you have to be prepared because it will cause you to a place of compromising your faith and what you believe and what you stand for. And it is happening even subtly in the days that we are living today. Yes, beloved, people who are calling themselves Christians at the same time taking in the infiltration of the world and living their lives as though they are not born again, as though they are not Christians at all. And they will be beckoning you to join them. And beloved, you will have to make a choice. And all I can say is, don't faint at the coming tribulations. This is what Paul was writing about in Ephesians, the third chapter, and something that he was going through. In the 13th verse, it says, Wherefore I desire that you faint not or give up at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Beloved, there will be believers that will stand on the word, that will not compromise the word. And you're going to have to find them and join with them and believe God with them in the time of the tribulations that's coming upon this earth. You will sometimes be standing alone. physically, numerically on this earth, but spiritually, God will be standing with you. Philippians 1.14, Paul writes again, And most of the brethren in the Lord waxed or became more confident by my bonds, or me being locked up are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Beloved, if we receive this appropriately and rightly in our minds, we will begin to speak the word more boldly and more confidently and not even concerned about our very life. And beloved, is coming to a day like that and we must be prepared mentally and spiritually willing to give it all up for what we really truly believe in the incoming tribulations beloved are upon us Prepare your heart, prepare your mind, for that day is near. Beloved, trust the Lord, and through many blessings to you, in the name of Jesus the Christ.